I am going to talk about uh, the project we're working on right now. Um, we are using research data from the digital humanities. Um, we are talking about lexical information, like a pilot project from the Alpine region. We uh, have right now 500,000 data sets. This information, it's text only, but um, they have very, very intricate um, relationships between the data sets, uh, like that the one we, we, we see here. Um, we, work, we decided to work with data site um, to describe this metadata. Uh, but at some point, we actually uh, decided to extend the data site schema and work with uh, something that uh, makes more sense for our data and um, something that we can use better than, than data site. Um, some information are um, from Fedora, some information we can find uh, with the use of transformations uh, and, and, and so. Oh. Wait a sec, I need to change the slide. There you go. Um, the infrastructure we use uh, is based on Fedora 5 uh, right now. Uh, we work also with an index in Solar and uh, for the graphical user interface, uh, we use Project Blacklight in the version 7. Uh, these systems are going to be integrated uh, with the use of Apache Kimmel. And some of the components that we use are listed, listed there. Um, in our project, uh, the pilot project, in this case, Verbal Pina, it's called the project, uh, it's going to be, uh, the information is going to be fetched um, from Apache KML. Uh, this information is going to be also processed and then um, after some processing, we're going to ingest it uh, in Fedora. Uh, for that, we're going to use uh, the Fedora API and uh, some, um, some routes we, um, we use for the create, read, update, and delete operations. Uh, once we are done with that, uh, we are going to send this information to Solar, um, where um, it's going to be then available for our end users in Blacklight. That's the point uh, where the user is going to interact with. And uh, we have also some use cases where um, the, uh, use the, the end user is going to um, trigger some uh, update operations on our index or, or the data. And that's done also through KML in this case. Um, if we look a little deeper um, be between the relationships between uh, Fedora and KML, we are going to, to have the following. Um, the research data we use uh, are in uh, comma separated values. Uh, this data is stored as is, of course, uh, but we have also some <clears throat> XML information, XML metadata that we are going to need, we are needing to transform. That's what, where uh, KML um, goes in. And uh, yeah, we use also some information from uh, Fedora after the ingest of the, um, of the research data. And we are going to use this to transform this data into our um, specific um, files in this case. Uh, in KML, we are also going to uh, automate the creation and the administration of binaries and containers in Fedora. That, that means we are not uh, interacting directly as a user with Fedora. Um, and we strive also for um, extensibility and compatibility with uh, new, when we, when we have new versions of the data uh, from our project. Um, none, Nonetheless, we, we had also, um, I have to, to, to say also, we had some heavy processing load between KML and Fedora, um, mostly uh, on the ingest side. Uh, and we have, um, because we, we are um, transforming data with uh, information that we need after ingest some data in, in, in Fedora. This led us to some issues with Fedora and with this infra infrastructure. And then we are talking about scalability. What are the limits of Fedora and KML uh, when we are ingesting the data? Um, we had at some point some uh, event message, Fedora event message clubbing, for instance, um, where Fedora didn't react anymore because the queue was full, it was full with messages. Um, also, we um, noticed that um, when we are using a lot of um, 
concurrent operations like get uh, post put request through, um, through the API, um, it's slightly uh, maybe going to affect the performance of Fedora. Um, that has also some open questions, I would say, uh, in our case. Um, we are thinking, okay, how can we uh, improve this, this setup, this infrastructure, this um, is, for instance, the cluster installation is still available in Fedora 5. Um, as far as I know, I'm, I'm not sure if that's also an option right now or if, or, or if it's going to be an option for Fedora 6. Um, also, what can we do when, when we have the data and we want to migrate to Fedora 6? That's also one of the biggest, I would say, uh, questions right now because uh, yeah, we're looking forward to, um, to use Fedora 6 and all the um, and all the functionalities uh, it offers for, for the new users. And um, yeah, if you want to maybe discuss or share some information uh, with us, we can uh, address uh, uh, this. The first one is the project, um, the project email, and the other one uh, it's my 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 work email. Um, I will be happy to to share information with you. Thank you so much. Great, thanks very much, Jaime. And uh, yeah, as always, uh, feel free to unmute if you'd like to ask a question or you can type it into the chat. Uh, we do have uh, uh, a few minutes. Yes, I have a question that is not uh, so much technical, but uh, political. Um, <laughs> I would be interested if, um, uh, if this e humanities project is somehow related to the German um, NFDI, um, you know, to, to, to the project. Um, I would say yes. Um, I'm mostly more oriented to the technical part. Um, I would say uh, yes. We are. We, we have something. Something to do with it. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Of, of course. Uh, we can. We can send you more information. Um, I mean, after the event. Or I think we have your email. Yeah. <laughs> we'll show you mine. <laughs> Well, maybe just mention in response to your questions at the end that um, clustering, there have been some folks that have tried clustering in Fedora 4 and 5, um, but it's been pretty challenging. It's based on mode shape and the mode shape clustering has not worked out to the degree that we would like, which is, which is another one of the reasons why we've been moving away from mode shape. Um, it has come up in the Fedora 6 context and it is something that we intend to support and we've started to develop some requirements around uh, around that. So um, it, it'd be if you have particular requirements around clustering, because you can cluster for different use cases, um, it'd be uh, interesting to hear those, uh, but it is something that we do intend to support. Um, and yeah, as far as the migration to Fedora 6, the tooling is almost ready to test uh, where you'd be able to do a, a test of a Fedora 5 to 6 migration. So um, we can let you know when that's available, but uh, it'd be good to get some feedback if you're able to um, run some tests. 